Hello friends, this video on probability part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. Various properties of the conditional uh, probability. The first is if let's suppose E and F are any events. For example, you can say that F is uh, the event of getting even number when you throw a die and let's suppose E is uh, getting odd number in throw of die. Any two events. And S be a sample space which has all the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 because here I am throwing a die. Right? Throw a die. Now, probability of getting the whole sample space given any condition, given any condition, probability of getting the whole sample space given any condition is nothing but 1. All right here, probability of getting whole sample space you give any condition is nothing but 1. Also probability of getting any event given that event is also 1. Because from that event you are taking 1, that particular event only, given that you are getting f, from that you ask the probability of f, that always has to be 1. For example, probability of getting even number, given that the number is even number is always 1. Probability of getting head given the given that it is a head is always one. Correct. So these are the two properties, right? And to derive this, I can do is probability of let's say try the first part s slash f is nothing but the same formula intersection of s with f by probability of f. You intersect the sample space with some events. You get some, uh, f events only, right? You have some events f and the whole sample space you find the intersection this will be f only so this becomes probability of f by probability of f. and that guy is one only so this part is true the second part also we want to see probability of f given f is nothing but probability of f intersection f by probability of f f intersection f will be f only that is probability of f by probability of f and that is nothing but one so if you see in both case you get 1. You can take the example also. For example, you have S as uh, the sample space of throwing a uh, die 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and F is the even number set 4, 5, 6. The first one you say that probability of S less F is nothing but probability of uh, getting uh, the whole sample space intersection even number will be nothing but probability of getting this even number by probability of getting this, this even number that is probability of getting 2, 4, 6 right so both are same so it will be 1 so this is one property of conditional probability we will use this probability to solve some questions uh, we have another property of conditional probability this is a very important uh, property Probability of A in union B given F. Please note it's conditional probability. Probability of A union B given condition F is nothing but probability of A given F plus probability of B given F minus probability of A intersection B given F. To prove this, let me take my LHS. LHS is nothing but probability of A intersection, A union B given F. This guy is nothing but probability of A union B, the whole thing, intersection F, right, by probability of F. Hope you understand this, right, because E, probability of E given F is nothing but E intersection F. So E is nothing here. A union B. So if you break this, this becomes probability of A intersection F union union B intersection F. Correct? A intersection F union B intersection F divided by probability of F. Correct? So 
this union B. See, probability of, or oh, sorry, you can say that x union y is nothing but x plus y minus x intersection y. Correct? This formula you know. So let's assume this guy is x and this guy is y. So this becomes probability of x that is a intersection f plus probability of y that is b intersection f minus probability of intersection of all these x and y that is a intersection b intersection right it's a intersection f intersection b intersection f two times f so i, I took only once the whole thing divide by probability of so if you see this guy is nothing but probability of a intersection f by probability of f plus probability of b intersection f by probability of f right minus probability of a intersection in b intersection f by probability of f. Thus I can write this guy as nothing but probability of a given f plus probability of b, b given f minus probability of A intersection B given F and that is my answer. So if you see this guy is my answer. Thus I prove that probability of A union B given F is nothing but probability of A given F plus probability of B given F minus probability of A intersection B given F. Correct. Let's take the third property that is probability of E complement given F is nothing but 1 minus probability of E given F. Correct. To prove this, what I can do is I know that probability of you take the whole sample that is E plus E dash will be nothing but S given some any condition is always 1. Correct. And I know that S is nothing but E union E intersection. So I'll say probability of E union E intersection given any condition F because the condition was F here is equal to 1. Correct. Now I can break this. This I know how to break. So this is nothing but probability of E in given F plus probability of E intersection given F minus probability of E intersection E complement right given F is equal to 1. This guy is 0 we know because there is no common between E and E complement. So what I get is probability of E given F plus probability of E complement given F is I have to prove this. So let's rewrite in this fashion. Probability of E complement given F is nothing but 1 minus probability of E complement F. Hope you understand this. There is nothing big deal here. Just using the formulas. So let me assume this guy is E and this whole thing is E complement. So E union E complement is S and E and E complement intersection is zero and thus we have this. thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again